I'm excited about this video, but I'm also a little bit nervous about this video and somewhat disappointed. The reason I'm excited is because today I'm going to be smoking the Amazon Basin Añejo and putting it up against the original Amazon Basin. We're gonna see whether this three years of age makes a huge difference, what the differences are, whether I think it's worth buying this one over this one, and if you missed out on the drop of the Añejo, whether you should be disappointed or not. The reason I'm nervous about this video is because I'm concerned that I may get a little bit sick. From what I remember about the Amazon Basin is it's really full bodied and me smoking both of these side by side has me a little bit concerned that I may throw up. So I have some sugar packets that I'm going to rely on if I end up feeling sick. I'm going to pause the video and come back if that happens. Um, but yeah, so let me show you these up close. So this one right here that I have on the right is the Añejo. This one here on the left is the OG. And the Añejo, when you get the Añejo, you can actually tell that it's been aged. When you look at the wrapper in the light, it's yellow already. My other basin, you can't even tell that it was aged at all. My wrapper still looks super clear. There's no yellowing going on. So I think that this will be a good comparison of a fresh Amazon basin versus an aged Amazon basin. One of the ways that you can tell the difference between the Amazon basin and the Amazon basin and Yeho, the only way that you'll be able to tell the difference if somebody just hands you the cigar which I don't know if you can see that, but man, this wrapper is yellow, um, is by the barcode on the back. On the back of the barcode, it actually says Amazon Basin Añejo. And the other one just says Amazon Basin. So right now I'm cutting the Amazon Basin Añejo. If you haven't smoked the Amazon Basin, but you are a cigar smoker, quit playing yourself. You have to smoke it just to know what it's like. It's such a legendary cigar in the cigar world that you have to know what it's like. It's part of cigar conversation. It's way too popular, way too sought after for you to not have smoked this. Okay, so right now I'm toasting the original basin. Really oily wrapper, super consistent, looking leaf, minimal veins. Wow, I am getting a saltiness. A salty, earthy, Pepper, it's a subtle pepper. This is why I think that every cigar smoker should smoke this. It's because in this cigar, you get this unique, almost herbal, Amazonian greenness from this cigar. When you think of the Amazon rainforest, and, and then you smoke this cigar, you're like, yeah, this totally makes sense that this came from the Amazon rainforest because it tastes like it came from the Amazon rainforest. It's got such a unique, strange taste, but it is pleasurable. This is just not something I can smoke every day. That's me though, because this is one of the most sought after cigars that I get people asking weekly Hey, do you have the basins? Do you have the basins? The texture of the tobacco right now in this first light up is uh, kind of has a slightly gritty texture. It's a very earthy 
cigar and you're getting a subtle sweetness similar to a chocolate right now. Let me go ahead and light up the Añejo so that we can see what the difference is on light up. Wow, it smells different on light up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Shoot! That is totally different. Oh my gosh. That smells totally different. Tastes totally different. I don't even know what I got because I was shocked. Hold on. Wow. Okay, I'm getting pepper for sure. I would say I'm getting a little bit more pepper out of this one than the original. But this is way more smoothed out of a flavor profile. It's way more blended and a richer flavor. It's got a darker flavor to it as well. That that like greenness that I got out of the original is not there. It's it's definitely a difference, a drastic difference. And you know what? I'm getting chocolate out of this. Right here, it's chocolate. This is massive. This is major. This is a drastic difference. So far, major differences. The Añejo, more earthy. The OG Amazon Basin, more herbal. Still earthy, but more of like an herbal green-like nature to it. Man. And as far as appearance, they're both oily. They're both beautiful. They're both flawless. Man, I'm getting blasted with pepper from both of these. And the smoke on these things is just ridiculous right now. I feel like I'm smoking a Liga Pravada number nine or something from Drew Estate. This is ridiculous. Totally different aroma. Mmm. Mm hmm. Totally different taste. This is night and day. Amazon Basin Añejo, night. Amazon Basin OG day that's exactly what this is like mm. Mm. yeah this chocolatey earthy subtle herbal nature to the añejo Whew. that's really good my god that's super good jeez this is so worth the wait Three years of age on the Añejo is worth it. Okay, I'm nearing the end of the first third of both of these. Key difference between the Añejo and the OG is the OG, you're gonna get much more of a florally herbal nature to the retro hill of the original and on the palette. The chocolate is going to be there. You're gonna get pepper, but on the Añejo, you're going to be getting a much more well-rounded nature to the smoke. The smoke texture is even different. It's a much smoother texture to the smoke on the Añejo than it is on the original. The Añejo, you're going to be getting way more chocolate, a milk chocolate out of it. You're going to get black pepper. It's a more intense black pepper, um, but not like extreme. I don't think the black pepper on either one of these surpasses a six or a seven. The Añejo, you're going to get a little bit of coffee, both on the palate and on the retro hill, and you're also going to get that herbalness, but... It's almost playing in the background. It's not the forefront like it is on this one. For those of you that love the original Amazon Basin, 
You may not like the Añejo as much as you like the, the original. And that's only, I, I say that because you may enjoy more florals out of your cigar, which is one of the, the key things that make this cigar so different. It's this florally herbal nature that you're getting from the base. And so that, that may be why you would want to just continue to buy them fresher and not as aged. I feel like I'm smoking a totally different cigar. There, there's some similarities, but it, it, it feels like a totally different cigar. This is remarkable. I haven't had this much fun smoking cigars in a while. God, since my last review of that Davidoff um, Year of the Rabbit, that was an experience and this is an experience. Okay, so I'm creeping up on the last third of this cigar. Well, these cigars. And key differences in the second third. The original Amazon Basin, you're getting a roasted nuttiness, subtle coffee, subtle herbal note on the palate, and on the retro hill, you're getting a much darker herbal note than you did in the first third. Now, on the Amazon Basin Añejo, you're getting like a roasted coffee. You're getting a mineral herbal note, but much darker, much, much, f way further in the background, way further in the background. It's like a supporting note. The, the main thing you're getting is coffee and chocolate, milk chocolate, and on the retro hill, at the cost of me sounding like even more of a douchebag than what I actually am when it comes to cigars and possibly when it comes to just me in general, on the retro hill, I'm getting like a tonka bean note. And the reason I say tonka bean is because I'm also into perfumery. So, it, that retro hill is like a tonka bean with a subtle herb added to it. Not as herbal as the original Amazon Basin. Overall, not as herbal as the original Amazon Basin. Not as green. This Amazon Basin original is very green in nature. It has this Amazonian greenness that's like, makes it extremely unique among all of the cigars in the humidor. This smokes like an expensive cigar. The burn is perfect, at least as perfect as I could expect out of this cigar. It doesn't burn like a Padron. It doesn't burn like a Davidoff, but it burns like a high-end cigar for sure. The texture of the smoke is butterier on the Amazon Basin Añejo. It's way more smoothed out and rounded on the Añejo than it is on the original. The original almost has like this bready type of texture to the smoke. I gotta take this time to shout out Lauren. There's a guy named Lauren that I sold my last Amazon Basin Añejo to. And I partly regret it because this cigar is phenomenal. When they re-release the Amazon Basin and Yeho, I'm going to be picking up a box of these because it is amazing. It's amazing to me. It's still super unique. It's, it's super unique. Not as unique as the original Basin, but it doesn't matter. I think that it's superior. So shout out to you, Lauren. I hope you really enjoy the Amazon Basin and Yeho as much as I am. Okay, this is the moment right here. I'm really in the last third now. I'm creeping up on the band. And I wanna tell you that one of the unique things about this cigar is that this is one of the few cigars on the market currently where you can smoke, that I know of that you can smoke through the band. 
Many of my customers will smoke this cigar backwards just to get through the band first. I personally, at least with the original Amazon Basin, have not enjoyed the flavor of the band because it seems like that's where I'm getting the most herbal notes out of. But that's me. So I'm gonna smoke through the band and let you know what I think. Yeah. Okay. The Añejo, you're getting loads of herbal notes on the band. I mean, whew, really strong, strong herbal note and just strong in general. Oh my God, help me. This is rough. Okay. I'm gonna puff on the Amazon Basin original and get through the band. And I'll tell you what I think. This is difficult. I'm really doing this for you because I didn't expect to have a good experience out of doing this in general. But I've gotta do it so that you know what to look for. I'm feeling nauseous. Uh, I'm gonna get a packet of sugar and I'll be back. I haven't felt this way in a while smoking a cigar. So I'll be back and I'll let you know what the band tastes like on the original. Okay. Okay. So I took my sugar packets, I took two sugar packets, I'm going to smoke the rest of this band, and I'll let you know, sorry that I sound so miserable right now, but I feel miserable right now. On the original Amazon Basin, if you enjoyed the herbal nature of the first third, boy are you going to love the band on the last third because it is intense it's so intense for me and on top of that it's so intense for me strength wise right now because i'm smoking two full bodied cigars or full strength cigars that i'm not even going to finish this uh, i tried but sorry <laughs> sorry i'm not sorry uh, that's pretty much it. I've gotten down to the, about where I would put out a regular cigar anyway. That band is super herbal. Now, my final thoughts on the cigar is, on the cigars, is that they're both excellent. They are. Despite me not being a fan of the original as much, I still recognize that it's great. It sells like crazy. Soon as they touch down at a cigar shop, I still highly recommend either one, the Añejo or the original, you at least pick up, I, I say at least pick up three. It's such a hard cigar to get your hands on. The cigar comes out once every two or three years anyway. I recommend every cigar smoker smoke it at least once. Both of them, the Añejo and the original. And honestly, I think that the Añejo and the original are box worthy. We sold out of all of the boxes that we had within two days of the Añejo and it's the same thing for the original soon as they touch down they're sold out so buy them up that's the best advice I can give you the clear winner for me in this battle between the original and the Añejo is definitely the Añejo phenomenal cigar absolutely worthy of 
smoking on a celebration day. I mean, the smell is unique. People tend to enjoy the smell of the cigar because people don't know what it is. It almost doesn't even smell like a cigar. It almost doesn't even smell like tobacco. It's so unique. So that's it. That's me wrapping up this re this battle and partial review because I can't assign a rating to both of these because I can't smoke two cigars and rate at the same time. But they're both well over a 90. If you've smoked both of these, what's your opinion? What did you get different than me and what did you get different out of the two cigars? Which one do you like more? All right, guys, that's it. Goodbye.